Hello, and welcome to this Archer Point presentation for Business Central Cash Management Forecasting. My name is Alex Wiley. I'm a senior pre-sales consultant here at Archer Point, and I'm going to be leading you through this demo today. First, we'll hop into Business Central and into our cash management area. This is where the setups and forecasts all live. We have the chart of cash flow accounts, which is the starting point for our forecasts. There's already a variety of these that are set up in the Chroma system, which you can choose to copy if you want to use them as a starting point, or you can create your own from scratch. There's a few that show a good difference between the types of entries that you can pull in. So we'll start by looking at the receivables for that. So for this cash flow account, this is one of the areas that's going to drive the information that pulls into my forecast. I've already run it for the first time so that we can look at an example of what those look like, and then we'll go back through and run that again in a little bit. First, you'll notice that we have just a source type defined here along with an account type of entry. So this is saying that we want to pull entries from source type records of receivables. If I go up here to related account entries, we can see that when this is calculated, it's pulling in based off of my posted sales invoices, and it's using this source type field. Another way that we can pull information into our forecast is by, again, using entries, but when we select what our source type is, we're defining a GL integration as well as an account range. This is telling the system to pull from these accounts, things that have been posted. If you have manual expenses or revenues, those can also be posted here. So let's look at an example of what a manual revenue looks like. Here, you can come in, say edit list, create a description. In this example, let's say we have rented out a portion of our warehouse and we're charging $10,000 a month for that. We put in a starting date and an ending date. And when we run the cash flow forecast suggested entries, it's going to use this information to make suggested amounts on a per monthly basis. We can change the recurrence for things like daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and all of those will work in conjunction with the suggestions for my cash flow. So now I can go into my cash flow and look at the details. We have a variety of options for considering discounts and payment terms, and we can also use GL budgets as a comparison if those are being used. When you first create this, these values will all be zero. And based on your cash flow chart of accounts and your manual expenses and revenues, we go into process and our cash flow worksheet. And we say process, suggest worksheet lines. And here we can again specify very specific source types as well as if there's tax entry information and if we're using GL budgets, which GL budget name we want to use. When we have the areas selected that we want, we say OK, and it runs through and uses that calculation based on the dates and the entries that exist. So for example, we can see here our cash flow manual expenses that we entered using that date range. And when we're satisfied with these, if we would like to make any adjustments, you can do those here. And when we're satisfied with that, we go to process and register. And that's what's going to update the information. It's very important that you register that if you would like to have these numbers appear because if you run that process and pull it into the worksheet but don't post it, it will zero out all of the values here. 
So that's how you can pretty quickly and easily set up your cash flow and get an idea of what your future states are going to be based on your entries that already exist in the system. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, please reach out and comment on this post or reach out to Archer Point directly. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.